Hi guys, welcome back to the BMW Guy YouTube channel and today we have something interesting. We have a new gadget. Um, so for those of you who have been following the channel for a while now, you know that I've actually been using Carly to code various bits on the car. However, recently um, they asked me to re-subscribe to the software and I couldn't justify the 50 quid a year to do so so what i've done is i've bought a new obd adapter a v-peak um we're going to go through this today um and what i'm going to do is i'm going to use basically all of the apps that this is compatible with um to see if we can actually find sort of a budget version of carly so um this is compatible with talk pro uh, which i know a few of you guys have actually asked me to do um, it's compatible with Bimmer codes, uh, OBD Fusion, to name but a few. So we're going to go through all of these. Uh, it's going to be a mini series on the channel, and um, yeah, let's get straight into it. Okay, guys. So here we are inside the car. Um, we've got our V Peak here. As you can see, it's in a quite a nice little case, uh, which isn't bad. I got this for thirty four pounds um, from Amazon. I'll stick the link in the description below. And um, yeah, like I said, it's a universal OBD. Uh, reader which gives you a nice little case to keep it in which is cool um, so we just unzip that with one hand as you can see here she is uh, it's the obd check ble comes with a six month warranty etc all the usual stuff and what i like about this is it's more than just bmw so um as you can see we've got a golf there and uh, we've got our gte golf as well uh, you may notice this is like different locations as usual because of my girlfriends um she's got a mazda 2 um and it's just a much more versatile um little product really so as you can see it's just standard obd um but what's nice it actually gives you a way of pulling it um whereas if i find carly here i actually had to add my own handle on it so it would do it if we look at the size comparison um you can see v, v peaks that's slightly bit bigger purely because it's got a handle on so um, what i'll do we'll chuck it into the car um and connect it up and i'll put you in app so that you guys can see that process okay guys so here we are we're just gonna put it in the slot and as you can see the blue lights come on which means we do have some life which is good Okay guys, so as you can see, the blue light is well and truly lit. Um, I'm going to start the car now, just so that we can um, test out the engine readouts and stuff like that um, for when we connect it. So um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to transfer you into the phone, as it were, um, in-app, and um, then we'll go from there. In three, two, one. Okay then guys, okay then guys, here we are inside the phone. Um, I'm gonna now link to VPeak, um, and by reading it, all you need to do is just go on here, um, and it should appear, and here it is, VPeak, so we're gonna pair with that now. Uh, the password is 1234, if it's gonna request it. Um, if it doesn't, then happy days. And hopefully, this won't take too, here we go. So we'll okay, go one, two, three, four, done okay and there we are it looks like we are connected to vp or not we're still connected to the car but um yeah so we're connected now um let's get on to so we'll go with talk pro in this video um we'll use talk pro so as you can see we've got our regular bits and Talk Pro. I'm just going to check the adapter status. Let's check whether we are connected. Currently, we're not. So um, I'm just going to work out now how to connect it. It may be that I need to disconnect from the car to do it. So let's just take a look at that. Um, if we connect to this now. Okay guys, so I've found it. It's inside the uh, menu here of the settings. Uh, we're just gonna choose our Bluetooth device now. Um, as you can see, there's VPeak. VPeak is selected, so hopefully now, that means that the app will connect as well. And there we go guys, we have connected finally. So, let's get talking. So as you can see, the rev counter is now working, which is cool. Um, we're gonna go on to our real time 
information and um, here is one I made earlier that seems to be very messed up um, here we go so here is my um, little readout that I set up um, that I spent quite a bit of time actually doing so <laughs> a bit sad I know but um, as you can see the only thing is that isn't working is the oil temperature which is I'll have to do a bit of digging on that why that is but um, as we rev it as you can see the engine load increases a turbo boost um, coolant increases as well um, and obviously once we're driving and stuff it will give us the relevant data so uh, nice to see that that works um, let's have a look at fault codes see how it works on the BMW um, it'll be interesting to see because I don't, I don't I don't know um, to be honest these this app has been recommended to me absolutely loads so um, it's just good to try and give it a go um, it's taking sort of similar amount of time as Carly did um, it'll be interesting to see whether we get as much detail as Carly gave us as well um, so but uh, yeah so this like I said this the benefit of this adapter here this VPeak one is that it works with multiple um, different applications so uh, Bimmer code which a few of you guys have recommended I'm going to take a look at as well um, so that'll be interesting uh, but oh, okay it's not showing any um, so that might be because it is um, not a deep enough um, checker that's fine because we've got other apps to do that um, but yeah so there we are that's um, Talk Pro working um, we'll just see what other stuff. Oh, this is our revs look. Um, as you can hear, there's a slight disparity between, a slight delay. But uh, yeah, we've got we've got our, our coolant temperature here, um, battery level, various other bits like that. Actually, it's quite interesting to see the battery levels at eighty eight percent, which is interesting, I suppose. Uh, as you can see, it's quite cold outside there by the in, the intake temperatures, um, but. Uh, but yeah we've got all sorts of bits uh, and what's nice as you can see on torque is that you can use lots of different um, values uh, or inputs that you can choose so um, what I'll do is I'll do a separate video on this app itself but uh, let's have a look at some of the other apps that this works with okay guys so here we have OBD Fusion uh, we'll give that a go uh, I'm gonna allow that uh, we're going to run some diagnostics on the car then and see. Um, now, how do we do this? Right, okay. It's a good start. Connect. Um, right, okay, that's why then. V peak. As we're just connecting now. To be fair, guys, this is actually quite an easy little device to use. Um, oh, <laughs> it's going too well, wasn't it? Um, right. Fingers crossed. But yeah, like I said, it works with a lot of different apps. Um, it was meant to, anyway. Um, so I'll, we'll try a different app then. We will go for uh, Bimmer Code, which is a. Oh, great, it's gone to. Got a portrait for you guys. Uh, we'll try Bimmer code, see what that's like. Uh, we'll try demo mode to start off with. Um, yes, I suppose. That... Right, so as you can see, this is giving us our all of our different um, coding opportunities. And actually, guys, this is this is I think this is actually probably more comprehensive than um, Carly was. I must admit this is I'm quite impressed with this this is generally the first time I've actually been on this app and as you can see um, it's quite an interesting little thing but uh, yeah guys that's um, that is the VPeak adapter as you can see it works with lots of different cars um, I'm gonna definitely explore talk because I've know people who use this um, as sort of a race racing thing um, you can overlay the data well you can log data essentially which is the cool bit um so you can log all the data to do with the car and it will then allow you to um as you can see this is a current location with the black bits there but um it will allow you to uh log data as you drive um, and then overlay it, overlay it on video 
uh, which I'll be hoping to do in future videos. But uh, yeah, thanks for watching, guys. It's just a quick little look at the new at the new device. Um, tomorrow's video is going to be more in depth on torque. Um, I'm going to have a play around, do some driving, and see how that influences it. So. Um, Subscribe if you're looking forward to that. Let me know what you guys use your VP adapters for. If you'd like to get your own one, have a look in the description down below. I'll post the links. And uh, yeah, thanks for watching, guys. Cheers.